Okay. Thanks, Norts. Well, obviously we're um, we're here today to pay some some respect to uh, one of the greats of our football club, one that I've only had a, a small amount of time with, but one I can say truly has given his whole uh, self to the football club. Uh, Dom, from the time I got here, was all about the team, and uh, again with his decision today. You can just tell that Dom Cassisi right to the end is all about the football club and what's best for our football club. He's been an amazing person, a great captain, a great player. You know, more importantly uh, for our football club, a great ambassador for the whole football club. And uh, we pay him a lot of respect today and uh, hopefully he'll have an opportunity on the weekend to show that uh, he's going to go out a winner. Questions for Dom? Dom, mine now. Yeah, I just, um, I spoke to the boys this morning and. Uh, I'm just really struggling to get up for the games in terms of my body. Um, I, uh, you know, I had a chat to Kenny pretty on, early on in the year. We knew it was going to be my last year, and um, spoke about um, you know, trying to keep my body going for the for the rest of the year. And I've just really battled with it, just going to game sore still from training, um, and I just haven't got enough in, in, in my legs anymore to perform at my best um, at this level. So um, yeah, the time's come and. Um, I look forward to Sunday and then um, look forward to watching the group go on with their work for the rest of the year. Is there ever a thought of maybe backing off for a month or so, seeing if the body could get right for hopefully the final campaign? Well, I mean, that's what we've tried to do, really. Um, I've played one or two games here and um, then been rested for a couple. And, you know, we've, the club's been really great in trying to help me through that. But um, it's, um, you know, my body's just not been able to back up week after week. That's the reality. And, um, and, and I'm just being a realist, really. I, I just can't, I just, my body hasn't got it in, it, in itself anymore. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, obviously didn't play last weekend, and so I'm, I'm feeling, feeling 18 again, Roach. You know, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm ready to go Sunday, so I'll, uh, I'll just give it my best, and um, hopefully we can get a good win. That's the most important thing come Sunday. Um, it wasn't really that hard to be honest, you know, I, um, I told Kenny when, when we chat, when we had a chat the other day, I just said, mate, I, the last two or three games I've just felt uncomfortable out there um, and I've never felt that, you know, obviously in your first few games when you're starting out you feel a bit uncomfortable out there but I haven't felt that for a long time and um, that's when I just knew that it was time to, uh, um, time to um, sort of wind it up, you know, it's like I said, for a for footy you've got to be able to play each week, you know, and, and I can't do that anymore. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have a, honestly probably have a week off and just think about things. It's been a pretty bit of a whirlwind few weeks, but um, obviously, footy's something I love, um, and yeah, coaching is definitely one thing. I've I've got a biz business interest outside of footy as well, so I just need to really just have a bit of a break. It's been a pretty busy 14 years, um, and um, but yeah, I'll still be around the place for sure. Um, I just I love the group, I love the club, and I'll always be a part of it. Oh, obviously the Premiership, you know, it's the whole reason why we're here. Um, just to be a part of that at such a young age, I probably um, took it for granted a little bit at the time, you know. I remember sitting with Kane and Sean afterwards and I think we were 20 years old and we're thinking, you know, we'll probably win a few more of these and 10 years later I'm sitting here and um, it hasn't come about. They're just really hard to win and pulled the medal out the other night for the first time in a few years and had a look at it and it just, just get flooded with emotion and memories and, um, yeah, so... I, this, and I'm just, I guess the last 18 months have just been really enjoyable, you know, just to see where the club was. Um, we've got a long way to go, but, you know, playing to a packed house, seeing the way the boys go about their work. Um, it's an amazing group that the club's got here, and, um, yeah, it's a really exciting future ahead. John, how much does that mean? I'm not the guy that would um, pat yourself on the back too much, but how do you feel seeing where this club is now, given that you're the one that led us through that, that terrible dark time? Oh, it's been, it's just, um, like I just, I walk in here and I just can't wipe the smile off my face, to be honest, you know, it's um, it's an amazing culture that's been brewed over the last sort of 18 months. Um, it was, yeah, we were, we were as low as it got, you know, 18 months ago. Um, I said to Kenny today, you know, he, he inherited a group that were heartbroken after what had happened in the off season in 2012. Um, you know, we had no confidence at all. And he came in and gave us an amazing sense of direction and um, 
all about hard work and doing little things right and we bought into it from day one and we made some ground up pretty quick and like I said we've got a long way to go the boys have got a long way to go but um, they're they're right up there with the best I think in the competition so it's been really good Um, oh, look, you know, I, I never really found, I, there, there were challenging times, but like I said, I said to the group today, like, we're in, being the captain of the club is such an honour, and um, there's always worse things out there going on in life, and so it was just always, you know, footy-related stuff, and obviously it was some big issues at the time, but just got to sort through them and try to be strong, but um, always had a bit of support around me from a few of the leaders and a, f a few other people around the club, so it's, it's been, yeah, it's been an enjoyable ride. I look, I can't speak highly enough of, of what Dom's done for, for this club, for, for this playing group and um, I guess if, if I could be uh, half as good a captain as, as he was, I'd be pretty happy. Um, you know, we as a playing group, as a club, owe so much to, to Dom of, of what he's given uh, this club and, and this group. I think we spoke about before that tough time that what he did in those years to, to keep us together and get through those tough times was unbelievable and um, you know we certainly don't take that for granted because um, you know he st stood strong and uh, he was one that, uh, that really got us through it. Trav, you're one of those guys who no one would have uh, batted an eyelid if you did decide to go and there's quite a few others standing here. What, what is it about Dom that uh, his role in keeping people together? Oh, first of all is selfless um, you know that's the thing that stands out most uh, you know he'll put anyone before him um, and that's sort of what the group are, are trying to aspire to be and and we've taken that from Dom um, and he's done that his whole playing career uh, right from when I first got here you, you could just sense the type of person he was um, and then you go out and you watch him play footy uh, and he's exactly the same yeah, he'll do anything for his teammates and uh, to me he's Port Adelaide um, and he's, he's he's had an amazing career and uh, someone we all look up to. Ken, obviously, um, it's not ideal losing a player late in the season, you know, particularly when the final is taken. You can find Hawthorne around, or once he's there, six months in the year, you obviously decide you can stay enough that's the right. No, no, yeah, Dom and I had, as Dom said, we'd had plenty of conversations through through this, the early part of the season and, uh, you know, and, and through this uh, season as well. And it was never going to be a, uh, you know, talk Dom out of his decision or it was never going to be uh, anything other than let's, let's make sure you retire, Dom, from our football club as a, as a champion that you deserve. And when you're ready for that to happen, we'll fully support that. And, you know, one of my key messages was for Dom was to to make sure he does retire a champ. You know, he, his family, Mayor and the kids and, and the rest of their family have, have been a part of our football club for such a long time. They deserved as much as we can possibly do for them to make it as, as good a time as we could this year for them. And, and when Dom Cassisi says, mate, I can't keep going, you know he's give everything. So you don't even second, second guess it. You just say, Dom, great decision. Dom, what are your top three highlights? Um, Jesus, um, that has to be the Premiership. Um, it'll be the prelim uh, preliminary final in 2004 against St Kilda. Um, just that's what you call a pressure game. That was unbelievable, and um, uh, and then <clears throat> I'd have to say our finals win last year against Collingwood. Um, like I said, you know we we made up some pretty some ground pretty quick last year, and to be able to go over there and win the final with such a young group and. Um, I know the the guys are just so hungry to um, go further, and yeah, that would be the top three, I'd say. Full team thing. Where's that uh, left-footed goal at Geelong? <laughs> Famous day. In um, well, that was an eye for me. <laughs> Kenny was in the other box, but um, yeah, no, that was a good individual moment. But um, yeah, I mean, what happened a few weeks later probably dampened it a bit. But um, yeah, look, that that was good fun. It, it was a yeah. You know, Hard, as we know, it's hard to win over there, so to be able to pinch a goal, but um, Gary Ablett, I was playing him that day and he kicked probably the best goal ever on me about three or four minutes before, so um, I felt pretty pretty silly for there for a little period, but I was able to get one back, but yeah. Sean, you don't mind Frank, do you think the boys will be able to relax now in the change room a bit more without that? <laughs> um, well, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's a few other little snakes floating around at the moment. <laughs> 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 so, um, it's what happens at footy clubs, you know. Um, you know, people come and go, and um, someone else, someone else will pick up the slack in that area. And there's definitely a few that will um, that are lining up.
Um, I'd have to be Gary Ablett or um, Brent Harvey as well, I'd say. They're just um, phenomenal players and have been over a long period of time. So, um, yeah, you always learn so much. Each week you, you learn a bit more about yourself and, um, yeah, on ways to improve. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're two standouts. Was there a moment before you Oh, it's probably been a bit of a build-up, I reckon, um, over the last six or seven weeks. And, um, yeah, I'm just listening to my body, pretty much. You know, um, my mind and my heart wants me to go on forever, but, you know, it's time for my body. I've just, um, you know, it's been, uh, yeah. I, I leave the game really happy. I'm, I'm, I, um, yeah, I just can't be more more proud of being able to play at the one club for my whole career and meet some amazing people along the way. And um, I, leave, I leave the game pretty happy. You said you told the boys this morning, yeah, it was tough. Um, I broke down a few times. I told the boys they'll crocodiles here, but um, they didn't. Uh, they didn't believe me. But um, yeah, that's probably the hardest thing we have to do. It's, um, it's just you know you you you're with the boys you know all day every day, and you go through some tough stuff together. You go through good times together, and the bond you forge with your teammates is um, something that I'll, I'll definitely miss. But um, these boys have been my mates for life, and yeah. It's, it was it was tough, but. Um, oh, it's going to be different, that's for sure. Um, I don't really know, to to be honest. Um, I, I just know that I'll be watching and just be proud. I'll probably be watching with a smile on my face, to be honest. Um, just to see the development of of the group and just knowing that they. Yeah, they just love hard. They, any challenge gets thrown at them, they they're up for it. They love hard work. They they're driven. Um, so I'll just be able to sit back and relax, I think, and watch the boys go to work and keep running fast and moving the ball fast and do all the things that I can't do anymore, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, you don't you, you would never say no to quality people at your football club and Dom's quality is as high quality as you can possibly get. So, you know, I'm not gonna preempt anything with Dom. He's gonna have some time and have some some breathing space, I think, and and decide what he wants to do. But our football club's front door will always be open to Dom Cassie, so there's no problems there. You're pretty grateful having a, a farewell game against Melbourne on the Um Yeah, I mean it's it's gonna be nice like, it's gonna be nice to put put the jumper on for um you know one last time. I have like I said before, I feel up to it. I feel as though I've got, you know, another good one more good game left in me and um but yeah, I just want it I just you know, there's so much riding on this game, you know, we need to get back to winning. Um it's it's a crucial game for us and um, that's the overriding thing just to get on the winners list again. Ken, how big is this game? It's a big game anyway, but to, to send you know Dom off with a fair what he probably deserves. Oh look, obviously we'd we'd love to be able to do that and uh, for Dom and we'd love to be able to get back on the, the winners list and if I can get take the emotion out of it, that's the most important thing for us as a football club is that we need to play well to to make sure we get back in the winners list and uh, you know get our season back on track. Certainly not a, a long way off track, but it is, you know, the last couple of weeks have been a bit of a stumble for us. So we just need to make sure, you know, that we play well first. And then, you know, typical of what we talk about all the time, hopefully we'll, we'll deliver a performance that Dom will be proud of and he'll be part of that will make him go out a winner. What's your review show during the week? What's your review show during the week of where you're at at the moment? And we used to be a Dom Cassisi, I reckon. That's what I reckon it showed a little bit. We missed a little bit of genuine hardness around the football and, you know, and uh, Richmond were a bit stronger than us at the ball when it counted and a bit cleaner. You know, our, our boys are, you know, they're, they're really good. They'll respond, you know, the proud group. They'll come back pretty hard, led by their captain, I'm sure, and, you know, make sure they uh, put in a really solid performance. Can you hinted at a few changes after the Richmond game. Um, have, you, have you swung the axe or how many uh, changes can you expect to see? I guarantee you one. <laughs> yeah. Dom's playing. The rest I don't know yet. We're about to go up and do match committee, so we'll go through that. But look, there'll be there'll be opportunities for people, I'm sure, that will get a chance to play in the team. And, uh, m more importantly, today it's about making sure that Dom, you know, gets to do what he needs to do and make sure that he's, his last game for our football club's one he's proud of. Trev, we've all seen what Dom does on the field, and we know about his leadership. What will you miss behind the scenes? Uh, I think we um, we saw it today when he when he spoke to the boys. He's just his uh, character. Uh, he's, he's a very funny man. Um, and there were some, some some pretty good jokes when he spoke to the boys, and uh, just just having that um, you know great character around the group. I think uh, you know during those tough times that we'd come in and it'd be pretty down, and Dom would come in and and automatically put a smile on your face and and you'd laugh. And 
so just those moments around the club uh, we'll certainly miss, but uh, I'm sure we'll be in every now and then trying to pull a few more pranks. Can I ask what your reflections were the day you became captain and the day you decided no longer to be captain? Um, well, obviously, I mean, when I got told I was going to be captain of the club, it was you know, a pretty special moment. It's, it's, um, Pretty simple to say, you know, it's to wear the number one jumper at such a proud club. And you look at the names that have worn it before it and they're all guys that you, you know, just look up to and half aspire to be and um, you know, Treaders and Maddie and those guys and so that was that was amazing. Um and then I guess just over time, like we um we had some really great emerging leaders come through and, and Bokey's been um he's just been phenomenal. You know, he he you could just see that he's, he he uh He's got a, a huge amount of drive to um, work hard and prepare well, and he just carries the rest of the group with him. And he was ready, you know. He's he was more than ready. And as you can see, the way he's gone about his footy, he's taken his game to a new level. And um, you know, without being disrespectful to any of the other captains, he'll probably go down as probably probably our best, I think, over time. Yeah, it was uh, it was funny because I remember ringing Dom after I just got the job. I was actually at Broad Beach Cricket Club. I remember ringing him from there and saying, "Well, we're having a first conversation. We're having basically is about when's the right time uh, as captain of the football club." My comments to Dom was that we'll go through the pre-season. Let's make sure, and if it's not someone ready, Dom, we'd be really comfortable in your hands. Do you know that? But if you feel and we feel at the same time that there's someone ready, clearly through that and with his advice. Um, there was someone ready to uh, to take over, and, and you know a number of young blokes underneath him, for him to be able to just to enjoy the last parts of his football career. So, again, typical Dom. Whatever's best for the football club, let's just do that. Dom, uh, we heard Nick, Nick Maxwell yesterday on his retirement say that he's looking forward to having a uh, an off-field role for the next six weeks, and then into the final series for September. Is that something that you'd like to sort of stay involved in as coach of clubs, or you know after this weekend? Oh look, I'll, I'll definitely be floating around in one way or another. I'm, you know, like I said, it's all sort of just happening today. So I'll sit down with Kenny in the club, and but um, yeah, I wouldn't mind a few days off just to freshen up a bit, and um, yeah, we'll sort through that. But um, no, we just, like I said, I'll just bring it back to Sunday. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's an important game for us, and um, looking forward to see the way we go about it. Be good. Ken Kane Thorns is your last man standing now from your 2004 premiership. Will he play beyond this year? Where are you, Wiggy? What do you reckon? So we'll worry about playing well on Sunday, yeah. and then worry about next. Okay. So I think I think there's there's a fair bit of confidence about what Kane's been able to deliver so far. So I think that's pretty positive. But is he typical? They're pretty close to these two. Talk about Dom, I think. Oh, no, I suppose I've been around and seen people retire before and, uh, you know, uh, you understand that it's a significant moment for them. But I think the only thing that, that our, our club should do this weekend is perform at our absolute best in the way that Port Adelaide play. And I think that, that would be a great thing for our football club to do is live up to the Port Adelaide standard, the Port Adelaide model and, you know, and play, play that way. And then hopefully uh, Dom will feel pretty proud about that. Did you, did you talk to anyone? Did you discuss this issue with anyone at the club? Or Something you formulated on your own? Uh, obviously, speak to my wife. Um, it's always good in relationship when you speak to your wife. Um, <laughs> <it's>, um, <laughs> so I speak to her every day, which is good. Um, and she's, um, you know, May has been a huge support for me, you know, um, unconditional over the last 10 or 12 years. And um, she's my sounding board, really. And obviously, my family back home as well. Um, my mum and dad and my brother, I, you know, that. Yeah, you just you fall back on the people that you know are most important to you in your life, and that was no different in this situation. And and obviously Kenny, um, you know we've um, yeah, I, you know the discussions we've had the whole way through, even from when he you know he first started, um, it's been you know we've always been pretty honest with each other, and um, I can't thank him thank him enough. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been pretty good. Yeah, look, it was um, yeah, it was a bit of a surprise, and I think it was.
pretty emotional. Um, you know, I think that just shows how much Don means to this group and this club. I think um, you know, majority of the guys were in uh, would have had a tear in their eye as he was speaking because it was it was pretty tough to, to hear it. You know, obviously he's uh, been an important part of this club and, and we love him as a, as a player and uh, and as a person. And um, yeah, it was pretty emotional. Fantastic. That's it. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.